Another update from Notability just a few days after GoodNotes major update. Let's see what's new. We now have more than 250 signatures on the Notion petition, but we still need more. Please head over to change.org and help us sign this petition to protect Notion users' notes. Notability has added a shop to their app. When we did our wishlist for good notes a few months back, one of you guys suggested that these note-taking applications create shops within their applications instead of resorting to a subscription model. Notability has done just that. Their shop sells themes, app features under technology, planners, which are coming soon, and stickers. We've spoken to the developers and they have assured us that they will be adding more items to this collection. What items would you like to purchase in Notability? Let us give our developers some ideas. They've added dashed and dotted brushes to their inking and highlighting tools. These will make our notes exciting. They have also moved our pen types to the bottom of this pop-up window and relabeled our custom colors with hearts instead of dots. We can now save our favorite pens, highlighters, and erasers for easier access in Notability. The favorites toolbar is mobile and it can go to the top, bottom, right, or left side of your screen. It disappears when you select the text tool and when you deactivate your Apple Pencil. You can easily customize your favorite tools even after you've saved them. Removing them from the favorites toolbar is also very simple. It is very easy to close the favorites toolbar and bring it back up. Notability now supports arrows and curved lines. Say what? Your arrowheads are always closed though, but we'll take it, though it would be nicer to also have open head arrows. Not to sound ungrateful, arrows in a note-taking application are always a welcome addition. You can add your stickers, the ones you buy from the Notability shop via the plus icon. They are PNG images, therefore naturally all their editing options are similar to the ones for your images in the application. That means you can resize, rotate, add captions, crop, wrap text, cut, copy, and delete them. You can save your favorite stickers for easier navigation so they're easy for you to find, which is great. Still no page customization in Notability 10.0. We have contacted the Notability developers on this and they are yet to get back to us. This update is exciting but also disappointing. How can Notability completely ignore page customization for their 10th version of this app? Looking at the bright side, Notability's updates this year have managed to remove a few items of our wish list. What is your favorite update in Notability 10.0? Let us know in the comment section down below. We hope you liked this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Awesomely fantastic human. See you in the next video.